Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the HG Stargazer Gundam. So as you can see, like I did in my review of the Luna Gazer Gundam, what I did for this is I put on half, on one side I put all the black stickers on, on the other side I put all like that kind of like rainbowy gold sticker. Um, it has a full set for the whole thing, so obviously yours is not going to look like this unless you wanted to. You can choose either the black or the gold, I figured the best way to show you guys both, rather than me putting like all the black on, then all the gold. The easiest way was just do it half and half like this. So here's what it is going to look like, uh, there's the gold side and the black side. So I think both sides actually look pretty cool. I like the black because it gives a really nice contrast. It breaks up all the white on there. Of course, you could also do that by panel lining the kits, which uh, it doesn't really have too much panel lines, really, aside from these uh, places where you're going to be placing the stickers, actually. But I like the black because it gives a nice contrast, but of course that gold gives it a really cool look as well, just all really shiny like that. I will say, however, the black stickers work really fine. They're just like perfectly normal, like black foil stickers. The gold ones are a little bit thicker though, so like on areas where there's like, the sticker just needs to be bent just a tiny bit around the corner, it's not gonna stay down. It just doesn't stay down. So you can see like on here and then like down here, there's areas where that sticker is just not gonna stay down on the very edge of those parts like that. So just keep that in mind. What I'll eventually end up doing for mine is just painting it, I'm sure, and probably, I don't know, I, I actually haven't decided yet. Uh, I know what I want to do with like the white armor, but I haven't yet decided yet what I want to do with like the, the gap parts, so I'll just have to see about that. But the other thing you'll notice here is that it's not standing up. I have it on the base. That base is included with the kit, so you'll have that, that's nice. Uh, but it's just really not able to stand up by itself. Uh, you have a couple options. You can give it, uh, obviously, a different stance. I'm talking about just standing up just straight like this. If you give it some sort of like action pose or something, I'm sure you can make it stand up just fine, uh, just changing the weight around. It's just too back heavy. You could also uh, shift the ring so that the ring is more above the kit, but that's not exactly quite how it's supposed to look, so I didn't do that either. Uh, aside from all the lining stickers, there are a couple other stickers, uh, mostly on the head. Uh, like there's a sticker for the red piece on the top of the head there for that kind of red kind of, kind of Gundam jewel there on the top. Unfortunate that that's a sticker and not just a small red piece like it is with most kits like that. But otherwise that's pretty much it. The construction of the kit overall is quite interesting as well because it doesn't it uses a few polycaps, but there's some areas where you'd think it would be polycaps and it's not. It's just ABS plastic parts and they're like specifically the shoulder joints feel a little bit weak just because of those not using polycaps, just using a plastic piece and it feels kind of strange. I really don't know why they did that, but uh, so the construction is a little bit unique uh, compared to other HG kits, but overall it's going to have the same kind of pros and cons that you would expect with pretty much any normal HG kit. We'll get more into that. Let me bring this guy in for a closer look, so you can see we're going to talk about some of the articulation here. Uh, one thing that I think is really cool about this design is that it's not actually like meant for fighting. That apparently it's just actually meant for like space exploration, which is pretty cool. I just was reading up on the wiki page a little bit before starting the review, and it's actually pretty interesting. I really like the shape of the head. This really super wide head is a pretty unique design. I quite like it. Of course, sticker for the eyes, like I said, sticker for that red jewel on the top, sticker for the camera. And then there's no sticker like for the back camera, but the other there are these stickers that go around the back and then just right here on the side of the face as well. Tiny stickers there. Uh, the V fin did have flags on there, safety flags. I just trimmed those down. As you could, as you just saw, the head comes up pretty far, nice and far to there. I think that's pretty good angle for the head to go up, down, no problems there. The shoulders, like I said, feel a bit odd, but what you are able to do with the shoulders is this kind of movement here, which just kind of seems silly, but it does allow you to get that up out of the way. And you can bring that arm up farther before it pops out of the ball joint there. Just pop that back on. So yeah, you're really not gonna be able to move it too much farther than that vertically, unfortunately, then you can just rotate the arm at the top. And then we have a bend here in the elbow, which is unfortunately just a single bend. So just one 90 degree bend there, just about 90 degrees is all you're going to be able to get out of that. So stickers just going down the uh, bicep on the front of the arm, on the side of the arm here on this part. So all kind of interesting designs there. In the waist, we have a little bit of forward and back, kind of, but I don't really think that that's really supposed to be anything. It's just kind of a loose space there. Basically, it just rotates to the waist and that's pretty much it. The front skirts are joined. You can separate those uh, so that they'll move individually. I haven't in this case just because I wasn't entirely sure uh, that those will be tight fitting in there, so I just kept them 
uh, connected for now, but I think. Anyway, if you guys have this kit and you have experienced that, uh, maybe leave a comment down below so other people can see uh, how that is. I just left mine together because I will probably end up just leaving them together for permanently, but anyway. Uh, side skirts, no stickers on there. Strangely, it kind of seems like there would be a sticker there as well, but uh, those will just rotate and move up and down. Kind of cool, although it's really difficult to see. Up inside of there, if we can just kind of maybe just remove this part here. There is some like exposed frame in there, like in the side of the stomach, and it's some really nice detail inside of there if you can see that, but it's basically impossible to see that once you have the side skirts on because they cover kind of most of that and it's just kind of very slight in there. So anyway, back skirts there, there's a sticker there, but it doesn't move at all on the back skirt. The hip joint will swing side to side, so pretty nice hip joint here. And then just the legs are actually just connected just via, via a ball joint, but those can rotate uh, pretty well enough, I think. The knee here, we do have a double joint there, so you can get a nice knee bend. One thing that I don't really like too much about the design is just the, the profile look of this lower leg, how it comes out really far out in front here, but then it also has this really oddly shaped part just sticking out the back. The whole kit has a pretty like kind of round look to it for the most part, except for like maybe the shoulders, which are pretty square. And we have just this very square, utilitarian sort of looking shape here on the back, and I guess that, again, the kit is meant like more for like space exploration, but I don't know, anyway, so you can open that up and you have this thruster bit in there that can be moved as well. That's just gray in there. Uh, the ankle is also quite interesting. So how this leg comes out forward like that, the ankle joint is like very far forward on the kit so you can move the foot, kind of rotates there on a kind of very strange place. And then down, you can see it separates down a little bit there as well. So the ankle articulation is actually really quite nice, but it's just quite strange in the way that it's constructed. Side to side, you can get a, uh, pretty good angles there, side to side as well. So overall, really nice ankle construction there. It's just the, again, just the shape of that lower leg just doesn't really do it for me. I think, I don't know what I can really do about that. I think I might just have to live with that. Unfortunately, I think one thing I could do is maybe just cut off this whole part on the back, but then it would just be like all going to the front too much. It would be, wouldn't quite be balanced, so I don't know. Anyway, but uh, then moving here to the backpack, this is another thing that I don't really like too much about this kit. From the front, it looks really cool, but from the side, uh, like I said, aside from the legs, this backpack also just looks too huge and plain. It's just a really ugly shape here on the back. And uh, from this, from the back here, it's kind of okay because it's got like this kind of detail here. But yeah, just like from the top and from the side, this backpack just looks really, really ugly. But so we can move this ring out. Like I said, if you want to balance the kit, I think one thing you could do is like maybe move the ring uh, something like this that would throw some of that weight more centered above it uh, instead of being on the back and it might be able to stand on its own. Again, you have the stand, so you're probably not too worried about making the kit stand on its own. Uh, the ring can of course be separated here and then we can move these parts out and this whole thing moves down and move these out kind of like this. There's a little bit of a trick to that and you can like move them like this, just like this and that's kind of highlighted in the manual as well. It actually kind of shows you how to do that pose but anyway, so you can just make them flying like that. In terms of accessories for this kit, obviously like I said we have the stand. You do also have this beam pistol. This is apparently used by the civilian astray unit actually and uh, this Gundam actually doesn't use any weapons but it can use this pistol apparently so it's nice that this was included with the kit just as uh, to give you something with that and then kind of like the other main big accessory is this uh, ring accessory unit here so this just plugs on top of the stand so you can plug this onto a different stand as well if you want uh, and then obviously I think painting this part black would help a lot as well and then there's a metal rod just through the rings here so those can just rotate separately so you can make that kind of uh, effect like that going around the Gundam. The Gundam itself, I kind of have these things in the way at the moment, will just fit down there just like onto the regular action base and then you've got your rings around the Gundam like that. One thing I suppose you'll also be interested in seeing is how this is going to look, obviously, compared to the more recent release of the Luna Gazer Gundam. The Luna Gazer Gundam being based on the Hyakushiki is going to be obviously much bigger, especially it has a lot longer legs there, so just the overall look of the Gundam is quite a bit larger 
as you can see the two of them next to each other. See, the mobile suits are just generally a little bit smaller, plus the HGC line was a little bit kind of stumpy overall, to be honest. And uh, so with the Lunagazer with the backpack on, same kind of thing though. It looks cool from the front, for sure, with that ring, of course, but then like from the side, just that backpack looks, looks so ugly. It definitely clashes with the look of this nice new design for the Hyakushiki, which is all really nicely designed. And they just have this really ugly backpack there. But uh, anyway, if you wanted to do that, of course, you can do that. I think I'll probably sticky, be sticking with just the regular backpack for my Lunagazer or changing it to something else, possibly, but definitely not this one. In terms of negatives of the kit, I think it suffers from kind of the main stuff that you would expect from a HG kit that's a little bit older. It's got quite a few seam lines on it, so you're going to have to be doing a lot of work with that. In terms of like the uh, like uh, color placement and like part separation, like I said, it's a little bit unfortunate that that red part on the head was in there. This is not in the right color and you have to use a big sticker for that, but pretty much uh, it's pretty much all in the right, correct color, so it's pretty much just gray for the like frame parts, and like a little, kind of off gray for a few areas, yellow for a couple areas, but it's mostly just pretty white, so really the stickers are just making up kind of the lining parts, now if you really want to use those or not, it's going to kind of be up to you. Uh, my biggest problems with the kit personally are just kind of more aesthetic things, so just like personally, like don't like the backpack, don't like the profile of the legs, things like that that I've been mentioning. Uh, the other thing that I should point out to you guys is a really cool thing that you can do with this kit. Uh, I mentioned about the articulation of the backpack. You can also extend out that backpack here. You can see it in this pose. Uh, this is actually definitely a really cool pose that I like that you can do with this kit of how it's sort of like using, I believe what, what this pose is recreating is using that uh, ring as propulsion from uh, kind of shooting out. It, I guess the ring like sort of like collects energy and then it that he uses that for his propulsion system, so it's definitely a pretty cool thing. I like this pose. It's kind of, I would say most people are more than likely going to be posing this kit with the uh, effect parts, obviously. But uh, I guess, you know, if you wanted to give those effect parts to a different kit or something, you definitely could. Like, I don't know, I could see myself maybe using those effect parts for the Lunagazer and then uh, just having this kit just pose like this because I really like this pose. Again, backpack looking really ugly now in this pose, but as long as you're looking at the kit from the front, it looks pretty awesome in this pose. As you can see, I did also switch up the base as well. I'm just using this uh, Kotobukiya flying base instead just because uh, to get the actual, the base that is included with this kit, I don't think you'll be able to do that. I guess maybe if you use the different attachment, you might be able to. It's going to be kind of close, but I think if you want to do this pose, you're going to probably better to rely on either uh, Bandai Action Base 2 or a Kotobukiya base like this. And just one other small complaint that I want to make about this kit is that... Uh, you can't really bring the legs out wide enough as I would like. I kind of forgot to cover that in the articulation, but as you're seeing it now, uh, how wide those legs are spread apart, that's as far as you can get the legs apart. So they really can't spread apart that wide, so you can really only get so dynamic with your poses with this kit. Uh, unfortunately, that's a pretty important part of the articulation. But otherwise, I mean, basically, it's an older HG, so you know, you kind of had to expect the articulation is not going to be quite as great as other stuff that we getting that we're getting out now. The proportions, uh, the details, overall, is is just kind of you just kind of have to take what you get with this kit. It's highly unlikely that we're getting going to get any other version of this kit anytime soon. I think I remember correctly, some third party. Uh, some third-party company is maybe working on a master grade or kind of master grade-esque like 1-100 scale version of this kit if I remember correctly. I'm not quite sure. I think I saw something about that. But uh, So that would be cool if that comes out and if it's nice. Anyway, uh, I don't really foresee Bandai getting around to making a master grade of this anytime soon. But hey, who knows? Uh, stranger things have happened. Overall, it's a nice solid kit. If you like the design, then I'd say go for it. I mean, there's... A there's a few poses that it can do pretty well, and I mean, it has like a, it definitely has its style. It has like its few set poses that you basically have to choose from. It's not like a really wide open range, but you have a, a couple that it does well, and you can choose one of those and you'll be pretty happy with it, I think. So that's it for this review. Guys, if you still have any other questions or comments, you can leave those down below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.